In this episode of Lightbox, we talk to Marie-José St-Pierre, perhaps best known for her film McLaren's Negatives, which used her unique approach to combining animation styles and existing footage in celebration of the life and work of pioneer Norman McLaren. Through work produced through her own company, MJSTP Films, and, on occasion, with the National Film Board of Canada, she has primarily focused thus far on women's issues and artist portraits, winning multiple awards and taking festivals by storm. Last year saw the premiere of her film Jutra, which depicts the late Canadian film artist Claude Jutra through the ingenious recontextualizing of archival footage of the artist himself, and recently won the Canadian Screen Award for Best Short Documentary. The first film I did when I got out of school was uh, I wanted to make a portrait of uh, Norma McLaren because I really like his work and I wanted to make something to pay homage to him. And uh, after I finished the film, people, people said it's an animated documentary. But when I was making it, I was not thinking. I was just wanted to make something about him. People and archives and photographs, like it really in- inspires me. So that's why I make films about that. But it's not a deliberate choice to make, make those kind of films. When you study animation, you realize how hard it is to make animated films because you spend weeks and weeks drawing and doing stuff and you have like five seconds or ten seconds. And uh, when I was a student, honestly, I wanted to drop out of school because I thought animation was just too long to make. And when I discovered McLaren's work, I think it's the reason why I didn't drop out of uh, of animation school because I I saw his work and I thought it was so uh, amazing and everything. So for me, I don't know, I think he's my favorite uh, animator artist of all times. Uh, And um, I was really, really inspired by what what he's doing and also the fact that he's... um, always choosing different techniques uh, like every film he did he like tried to reinvent himself and I think it's really important to do that uh. people don't realize like um, how hard it is to go from uh, live action footage and intertwine it with animation I mean there's always like a lot of research for these uh, images to gel well together to go um, like the short film I just finished about Claude Jutra um, it's a man, it's, it's live action and he's cut out from the background and I put watercolor. But the thing is that um, when, when we did the, the, the cutting out of the character with the background, it wasn't working because the edge was not very nice. So, <clears throat> so then we decided to do the scratch and everything. So there's always a big research um, to have the live action and the animation go well together because it can easily be very ugly if you don't do like an aesthetic research on what you're doing and mixing them together. So Claude Jutra is a uh, Quebec filmmaker who's quite important in the Quebec and Canadian uh, filmography. Um, he met McLaren when he was a very young artist, starting his career, and they did the film together at Cherry Tale, which most people, I guess, they know. And uh, they worked together on that, so I think uh, um, McLaren helped Jutra start his filmmaking career because then he came to France and met like Jean Roche and Truffaut and all those other people. And uh, yeah, Claude Jutra is quite important, but the film I wanted to make about him, like, um, I wanted to make a portrait of Claude Jutra, but what I was really, really interested in is uh, f- finding out why, like at 56 years old, uh, when you're at the top of your game uh, and to filmmaking, that he decided to commit suicide by jumping off the, the bridge. And uh, what I found when I was doing the research actually is um, he was a, a doctor, like his father was a doctor, and he went to school and studied and everything. And he found out he had Alzheimer's disease. Uh, so I think he knew what was coming up for him. So I, I don't see it as a suicide, more as a euthanasia than a suicide, and um, and also like the fact that uh, his filmmaking career like started to like it's starting to be really hard for him to make films, and so I think all those things together like pushed him to do that. But I really wanted to find out why he did that. So that's kind of the point of like the whole film is going that direction. The, the Jutra portrait I, I made. There. Claude Jutra, he's very, very documented. Uh, he gave interviews, he made interviews, uh, he was a uh, comedian in films. and So this film could have been made this way only with this character because it's so well documented. And the thing that happened is uh, I didn't want to have him like ask him questions to himself at all. But then when I was working in the editing room, at one point I was like, what if I cut the image in half and I put one Claude Jutra on one side and one Claude Jutra on the other side and I try to move them and they looked, they were talking together. So then I knew I had something, but it was really, it happened in the editing room, working with the, with the film, which is why I don't like limit myself to storyboards or scripts because I, then you can go further, I think, into your, your filmmaking.
I have like two directions in my work. I don't know, it's really strange because I always make a portrait of someone and then I have my other film on the side of uh, making a film about women or women's issues. Like right now I'm doing one on Oscar Peterson and I chose him because I, I love him. Like I love his music and everything, I think he's very inspiring. And I find when you make like uh, portraits of people like that that are famous, it's so long to do that you really have to be in love with them, otherwise you just don't finish the film. I think Claude Jutras should be more known. It's kind of one of the point of making the film. We want people to go see Claude Jutras' film. It's the same thing with McLaren. Like I'm, I was always surprised when I was like, even people like in animation sometimes don't know Norma McLaren. I'm just like, this is not possible. I mean like kids don't know their, history and like they should be more interested but anyway so that's why I make those films so people find um, a new interest in those like uh, great great filmmakers.